Hey guys, this is Life from Mount Phoenix. So welcome to my backyard outfit. By seeing this plant, you might have guessed today's topic. It's all about the pond in the backyard. So having a pond in the backyard, uh, maybe a yeah, koi pond or a garden pond, there are a lot of benefits, okay? Here are the top three benefits for me. Number one, especially if your backyard is facing the road, um, it reduces the noise of the vehicle, okay? Um, number two, it is a huge stress reliever. So needless to say, you guys know, when we sit in front of the pond, hearing the soothing noise of the water falling from the cascade or waterfall, it's a great stress reliever. Number three, it invites birds. So many times I've seen the birds drenching and playing in the, in the close to the pond and in the waterfall area. Uh, and also it, it really helps them to bring water, especially during the peak summer. So that's a great feel for them. And of course, uh, it's a great feel for us. So on top of all these things, um, quarterly, I use this water, which has got all the uh, bacterial beneficial elements. Um, I use this water for my plants, okay? If you have, especially the koi fish, fishes, and you can still use it monthly as well. So today, I'm going to do some maintenance job. I do that, it's yearly. Um, the one thing I gave up in my yard is the koi fish. Okay, so it was a great feel to have the koi fish, but from a maintenance perspective, with my other priorities, I'm growing 70 plus fruit trees, and a few other priorities on DIYs, um, I found very difficult for me to maintain the fishes. That too, when yeah, when I adopt a fish that's 10 to 12 years old, and when they die, it's very emotional to me and my family. So I decided to uh, the koi fishes almost like a, a year ago. Uh, so what I have is just a pond. I, I mean, of course, we call it as a garden pond because since it has no fishes, okay? So now it's a maintenance time. I maintain this pond yearly once. So I drain the water completely and uh, I have to clean the sledges underneath. It's basically four feet depth. I specifically designed for this for the koi fish because they like a uh, little more depth, okay? Especially during the summer, they, want, they need some hideouts. So I'm going to remove the sledges um, and the bottom of the pond, basically which are the dry leaves and all the stuff. Uh, then, um, and, and, and a few more cleanings required, for example, the pumps and the filters. Filter is behind the pond, so I'm going to clean that as well. So I cleaned this pump, uh, I think uh, two months ago. So I don't see the algae. So I'm going to just give a quick wash. Okay, so nothing much. So plants love algae. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when I remove the sludge. You see that again? Plants love that. All that I do is for each of the trees I give them some and they love it. All right, so time to get into the pond to remove the sludges. It smells, okay? You, you, can, you can feel the algae and the sludge smell. Still not a bad smell, okay? It's all, how do we take it? Uh, but I did, this time I decided to wear the shoes. Usually I don't wear the shoes and the slipper to avoid any stones uh, or thorns underneath the sole, which may puncture uh, my sheet, okay? Once it, it happens, the life is true unless you fix it okay? uh, i don't know why i decided to wear a white shorts while cleaning the pond oh my god <laughs> anyway all right smells good <laughs> not really but it's okay let's do it guys get in the job so the entire Almost 95% of the pond I was able to drain with the pump that I have. But uh, the remaining, and as I clean the algae around, uh, I have to get down and do this. What I do is I'm going to fill this five gallon bucket and I'm going to request my wife to feed the plants. That way, I'm using this water extensively. All right, so we are done with the cleaning inside the pond i removed all the sledges okay and i uh, left some algae because we want the microbial activity to continue especially when you have the koi pond um 
ensure that you're not draining the pond completely because uh, the fishes cannot take the shock. Now, there are two things I'm going to do. Number one is I'm going to put back my plants. So I have to clean around and I have to remove some of the dead. See, these are not quite excess growth. Uh, then I have to remove the roots and I'm going to put it back. And uh, the next thing is the foam for the leaks to arrest the leaks. So when you do the maintenance, you also have to ensure that there are no leaks. And if you find some leaks, you have to go and spray so that uh, this helps um, to uh, eliminate the leaks. This is one of the products I use uh, from Home Depot and Lowe's. It's been great, like Total Pond, uh, Water Pond, whatever the Smart Pond, whatever they call it is. Uh, but uh, we have to ensure that uh, there are no leaks around the cascade so that the water level is maintained. So if you lose one to two inch, uh, during the, especially during the summer, two inch, take it like that for this side of, uh, sort of size of pond, we are good. But if you are going to lose like 10 inch, something like that a day, then um, some, th there is somewhere the leak, maybe on the cascade or, or here. So these are some of the stuffs I learned and it's very hard learning. Just FYI to you guys. Thank you. So I have the filter on uh, the back of the pond. I don't have the filter underneath. Uh, for my design, I decided to keep it that way. So what I need to do is, uh, first we have to turn off the pump, so which has been done. So I'm going to remove the latches. And uh, the goal is to clean the filter inside, uh, the sponges and all the stuff, so that uh, when uh, the water circulation speed is going to be much better. So my filter is 2000 gallon per hour. So I'm not going to disturb anything here, the tubes and all the stuff, okay? We're going to leave it like that. And we got to be very careful when you work on this, okay? All right, one, two, three. All right, look at the beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that. Kidding me? Do you see what is this? Earthworm, guys. Earthworm inside the filter. So I'm going to pull it. Oh, oh my God. Doesn't like to come out. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't want to press this. It's not coming out. Come on, I'm trying to help you. Please come out. No, it's gone inside. Okay, that we have other one. I'll try to pull. If they come, I'm going to save them. That's why I'm going to leave it like that. Oh my God, they have enough strength. Not able to pull it out. And I don't want to skew them. Excuse them. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to clean that one. All right, so time to test the pump and the filter. Things Let's work. Let's turn it on. <laughs> oh. oh my God, that's filter works. You can hear the noise here. You gotta wait for, a, for 30 seconds to one minute, okay? The filter needs to be filled first. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it's gonna spew the water. Next casket. Look at the beauty, it's time. Yeah! It's working. We are 100% done. After the hard work, having fruit juice, 
freshly picked from your yard is a blessing. Goba juice from my pink goba plant. Tropical pink goba. Thank you very much for watching the video. Have a good day.